some of the construction supplies were missing. And now I have to go and... Well, I never! It's you again? Welcome back, Stepney. Hey, Duck. Long time no see, huh? Huh. I'll say. How was the Bluebell Railway? It was beautiful. More blue bells started to grow, and lots of new engines helping out on the railway. I was sort of while I was away. Did I miss anything? Not really. But we do have new engines on Sudor that you perhaps never met before. And we have lots of unexpected chaos. So ow. Oh, uh, like that, for example. Oh my goodness, are you okay? I I I think so. Ow. Hello there, chaps. And there seems to be a streamlined engine that had an accident. Right. Our reporters are Tom Hat and the solo search and rescue team about this commotion. I shall not be long. Corner amigo, don't look so depressed. We'll get you fixed up and back on the rails before you can say, Arriba! Thank you, Stuff, for bringing Connor over. No problem, Victor. And you should also thank Duck and Rocky as well. Ha <laughs> yes. Well done, mis amigos. Oh my, oh my goodness. I never felt so dizzy than the, since the time that I got tricked by Bill and Ben. Ow! Oh, my rod hurts! Hello there, everyone. Hello, Stepney. What are you doing here? I've brought someone to see Connor. Hello, everyone. Hola, senor. So nice of you to come. Thank you, Victor. And thank you, Stepney, for bringing me here. Welcome back. Thank you, sir. Connor, what happened? Uh, sir, uh, I can explain. Um, I was going about, I was about to go to Napford, um, when there was a twist rail when I was coming up to Kelswood Station. Um, the signalman uh, said it was all clear, but this hmm. just happened and- This will not look good for the Northwestern Railway's reputation. It was lucky no one was hurt, and the accident wasn't your fault. You're more than welcome to stay here. Victor can fix you up. Thank you, sir. This is bad news. Ever since Thomas found the treasure chest, life has been a nightmare. I need to have a word with Peregrine with this situation. But first, I need some of M.C. Bun's most famous and delectable cornbread. Oh, I'm, I'm already salivating at the thought of it. All right, everyone, listen up. 
As you know by now, the new construction site of the new branch line is in a full progress. Sir Topham Hatt said there's less work for the Blue Mountain Quarry, which means the quarry is now available on Monday through Thursday. Oh my! This means I'll be less in charge of the quarry. Will Owen and Hedek be alright for this? Don't worry, Scarloe. Owen took the news quite well and he has been working hard. And Merrick... well, you know. Many sleep when there's no work. <laughs> That's how Medic is. In the meantime, half of you will pull goods trains and the other half will help Duncan with the passenger work. Since that same grumpy passenger is getting on his nerves again lately. Well, how long will the quarry be back at full business again? It will take a long time, I'm afraid, now since Gordon and Connor are under repair due to their unexpected accident. Okay, sir. Yep, I got you. What's the catch? What? Uh, where? Is anyone hurt? Oh, thank God. Will do. Great. So much for the candles in the house. What was that, sir? Duncan came off the rails at Rock Valley Bridge and is dangling on the edge of the cliff. I need an engine to go up and rescue him with the rescue train and a coach for the workmen, as well as me, since I don't have any free time. Don't worry, sir. I'll go and have some of the workmen do the rescue operation of Duncan, and you can have a break from hard work. Oh, thank you, Sir Handel. I appreciate it. Off you go. Right away, sir. Something is not right here. Not just the Northwestern engines, but the Scarlowy engines are in a shenanigan. Hmm. I need a word with Stephen, but first... Hang in there, Duncan. I'm here. I'll get you back onto the rails. Well, hurry, or else I'll find myself at the bottom of the ocean. Okay, Duncan, just hold on tight. What in the name of? Ugh, no! Oh, no! I don't want to die! Duncan!
back so quickly? I need to be longer than rescue Duncan. Uh, speaking of which, uh, where is he anyways? Um, well, it, uh, didn't quite, um... Well, out of nowhere, there was a bullet shooting through the chains, and it snapped, making Duncan not connected to me. And so, it was too late for me to save him in time. What? You mean he's... You mean he... You, you mean he's... Dead? Gone? Oh no! Duncan! Why? Why? I'm gonna miss his groveling places! This is making me so emotional! Single tears once a year! No, 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 Duncan is safe. It was lucky he landed on an empty barge that was heading towards the wharf. Oh, oh, thank, oh, thank goodness. For a minute, you gave me a heart attack. And you made me get so emotional and... <laughs> um, nothing to see here, people. Move along now. And I heard Rusty is taking Duncan to Crovens Gate Steamworks. <laughs> what a coincidence. Since Duncan is being under repairs, like Connor and Gordon are, but I feel like Sodor is under a great deal of trouble. I agree. We'll all have to be alert for all circumstances that occurs to us. Well, Duncan, amigo, you always complain that you're not going to be repaired. Well, now you can start complaining. Ugh, hey! I meant not repairing my wobbly wheel! Nor giving me a fresh cone to paint, nor fixing me worn out steam pipe, nor fixing me rods which were rattling. Yep, he's complaining, all right. Okay, lift up Duncan to a side, and quickly, I got a lot of work to do. Vamos! Andale, andale, andale! I think there goes my wobbly wheel. See, Victor, I told you there's something wrong with me. Yes, I am. I feel very unique to be. See you later, Duncan. Now, kid, I need you to do me a favor. I'm going off to do some errands. In the meantime, get some supplies that the workman will tell you to carry for Duncan. Yes, boss. I'm pretty sure, so, boss. I won't be long. Ciao, Kevin! Uh, can... Can anyone help me up? Please? Hello, Duncan. How are you feeling? How am I feeling? I'll tell you how I'm feeling. I'm in pain and my parts are worn out. Oh, well that's a shame. I'm sure Victor can mend it soon. Ugh, aye. I doubt that. I went to the steamworks about every two weeks so he can examine my wobbly wheel. But he told me there was nothing wrong with it. Typical. And I asked that I could have a fresh coat of paint. But he said I couldn't until the thin controller said I could. I mean, come on, Mr. Percival. Pa, that's ridiculous. And now just look at me. I fell off a bridge and hit the barge with a bang. Then I'm sorry, Duncan. What are you sorry? You never witness an engine that can't get respect the needs. Now, if you excuse me, I need some shut eye. Ouch, there goes me wobbly wheel again. Great, just typical. Thomas? What's the matter? You didn't seem so happy after Victor gave you a fresh coat of paint. 
I know, Annie. It's just my concern with the railway. Ever since I found a treasure chest, things are starting to cause chaos. Wait, why are we in Naf- I thought we were going back to Tidmouth. We were, Clarabelle, but I promised Percy that I help him shunt around in the yards. Why? Well, Sir Topham Hatt chose the wrong partner for Percy to help him. Who can be the worst shunter? Come along, you stupid coaches! Does that answer your question? Oh my goodness, you idiot, look what you've done. Looks like I'll be working all night cleaning up your mess again. Ah, shut up, you green caterpillar with red stripes. Hey, Percy. Oh, Thomas, thank goodness you're here. Dodge is the worst partner I've ever had in my life. I see, and they say all diesels are modern and revolutionary. I'll say, but having his brother splatter in the diesel works for a week is even more disgraceful when both are in a big shenanigans. <laughs> Why don't you shove your whistles right down your- Dodge, what have you done? Oh, I've just finished clearing your mess yesterday. Now with your reckless behavior, I'm spending money on your damage you have had to cost me too. Oh. I'm starting to plan to replace you by getting a more than a mature steam engine, rather than a pathetic diesel who can't even follow directions like you. Ah! Ah, now, Thomas, I hope you won't mind helping Percy around the yards. Yes, sir! Fantastic. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to have a word with Sir Topham Hatt. Let's get to work. Work done. I'm exhausted. How about you, Thomas? Thomas, are you okay? Percy, I'm very concerned about the island. How come? Well, remember I told you a few days ago I found a treasure chest filled with golden treasure? Yes? What about... 
ever since I found that treasure, things are going in a confusion and delay. Well, that's odd. Marion told us about a treasure chest that Jack found near the Blue Mountain Quarry, but had disappeared. You don't think that's the same treasure? Yes, I do think so. Looks like we have a thief on our buffers. Well, I would like to stay and chat more, but I've got to do my mail night run. Don't worry too much, Thomas. Okay, I'll stay here. Thomas, aren't you going to take us back to Knackford Sheds? I know we're supposed to, Annie, but I've got morning goods to pull, and I don't have time to take to Tidmouth Yards. Oh, great. Looks like our favorite spot of the sheds were going to go to somebody else. I hate sleeping here. So do I. <laughs>